So and this morning, the uh, we are going to we are going to give a little bit more updates on the queen, her life. I mean, I, I covered this for like four or five hours almost yesterday, and I think I did a pretty decent, a fairly decent job of like covering one my initial reaction, and also on top of that, like. Uh, not only my initial reaction, but also on top of that, just like the reasons as to why the 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 media coverage, like going absolutely bananas over how much they love the queen is a little crazy. And uh, some of the sides that you might not have heard about with respect to the uh, the queen's direct involvement. But there was a lot that I didn't actually get into, with, uh, for example, uh, you know, taking money from uh, taking money from the government to keep the uh, keep the funds going, keep the lights on in in her many castles, uh, lobbying the government for over one thousand uh, direct pieces of legislation, and uh, numerous other little things that she did here and there, obviously. Um, but the media coverage is like incredibly pro royalty, which is understandable for. Um, it might have been, uh, you know, it's understandable that, that the BBC and all these other outlets are doing the pro-royalty coverage, but it's so fucking strange uh, that America and American media is getting involved in the fun. To be like, oh man, it's so devastating for all of us. Truly a shock to the world that this 96, this 96 year old woman fucking croaked. Okay. But, you know, if you're looking for more nut-hugging of the queen, then this is not the right broadcast for you. I'll be honest with you. This is not going to be an opportunity for you. But if you want more details on that, you can watch my latest video titled, The Queen is Dead. Also, that was her cousin. That was her cousin. Oh, she lost her life partner. Her fucking cousin, dog. They were related. That's another wild part of it that, like, people have refused to... People don't mention the pedophilia stuff. They never mention the cousin thing. Like, there's a lot that they just don't mention. I don't expect them to mention, like, the Queen's direct involvement in whitewashing British colonialism at a time when, like, decolonization was happening, right? They, they make it seem like she was championing, championing the independence of uh, uh, England's many colonies when it was the exact opposite, right? They're just like, look at the Paddington Bear cameo. She's so great. Um, but it, it, it is wild to see, like, even on the internet, so many people go, yo, fuck you, dude. It's like, dude, this is our space. This is our, this is our, you know, free reign, safe space almost. Away from like all the hoity toity, uptight, ridiculous coverage over a 96 year old woman dying. And it's fucking wild to me that, like, even in this corner of the fucking internet, people are like, it's not enough that I'm getting this coverage from everywhere else. I want to now come into this chat and fucking clip something out and duke it out in the fucking replies. You know what I mean? And that's crazy. Bro, go go celebrate go celebrate her uh, royal majesty somewhere else. You fucking wannabe peasant, you dumb bitch. You live in you live in Idaho and you're butt hurt that the fucking ninety six year old queen died and people are making jokes about it. Are you kidding me? She doesn't know you, little bro. You're in Idaho, little bro. Go fucking farm potatoes, idiot. 